All my seven children have had bikes. We just didn't know that Kevin would take his bike and uh, make a career out of it. That is a double flare. Third gold medal in Big Air. Kevin was the youngest. He's about 13 years younger than I am. He started off doing uh, BMX, uh, just doing street. He fell in love with it, and that's all he could think about, and that's all he wanted to do. But it was different at the time because it wasn't something that everybody in the neighborhood was doing. It was an alternative sport, and but Kevin grabbed hold of it, and uh, he just chased it with all, all he could. We lived in uh, East Providence. Kevin started riding his bike, and then the first thing you know, we had a ramp built in our backyard, so then he started doing the vert ramp. And then he started doing the different contests, and uh, as time went on, he practiced, worked hard, and got better and better at it. That's it. In 1995, it was announced that Newport, Rhode Island would host the first ever X Games, putting the Super Bowl of action sports right into Kevin Robinson's backyard. It was a huge event for us because it was in our hometown and Kevin was uh, the local celebrity in the papers. And for all of us in Rhode Island, everybody was just so stoked for him because he, you know, he was like the local kid who made well. This is the local guy from East Providence, Rhode Island, getting a lot of response from the local crowd here in Newport. I grew up in East Providence, um, same as Kevin. Originally I met Kevin because he was my landscaper. He was the kid that would show up at the party and everybody else is, you know, doing typical teenage things. And Kevin was the one who'd pop open his trunk and he was pulling his bike out and, you know, in the driveway doing tricks. A few years after that first X Games, I just happened to go to a restaurant with a friend of mine and we were sitting next to Kevin and a friend of his and we sort of just made eye contact and we were both like, hey, there you are. Maybe two or three weeks later, I decided to move down to Woodward with him. It was instant. I think we got engaged maybe five months later. We were married a year later, had our first child. So fast forwarding 15 years later, we now have an 11-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old son and his almost six-year-old son. And I couldn't be prouder of who he is as a father. I don't think a day goes by without telling him that he loves him and loves us. He's made us proud to be his parents the way he takes care of his family. In 2013, after a storied career, Kevin, with the support of his friends and family, decided to retire from the sport that had given him so much. There was a long transition um, getting Kevin more mentally prepared to retire from, from competition. Part of our plan to sort of phase him out of that life and sort of into a non-competitive life was moving back to Rhode Island. It was huge when he came back here. It was like the cycle of life came around. He's proud of where he grew up, and just to have our kids growing up here, surrounded by their families, just is really important to both of us. What worried me the most was just replacing his passion with another passion. When we started the nonprofit foundation, the K-Rob Foundation, that was, that was what replaced his passion. He's got these big dreams to help a lot of the inner city kids with these parks that can get them outside and it's positive reinforcement. He thought about this jump maybe three years ago. He started thinking, I did the height thing and now I think I just want to do the distance thing. I think this kind of comes full circle for him. He wants this one last thing. It means so much to him to be doing it in Rhode Island. It's almost fitting that it ends here in Providence.